guys, so it's Sada. I'm back again for another video. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do this look, um, which is my holiday, super glamorous, over-the-top, smoky look. I'm really excited to give you guys this look today because Thanksgiving's coming up and my family's always overdressed for everything. So I was really excited to go ahead and do a super dramatic look for you guys today. So if you want to see how this look was created, stay tuned. So here I'm just going in with a black eyeliner pencil to go ahead and completely cover my lid. And I believe this one's by LA Colors, so it's only like a dollar. And I'm going to drag that underneath as well and carry it all the way around the lash line. Next I'm going to go in with my blush color that I normally use. And I'm going to use that for a transition color today in the crease. I love this color. It has a little bit of like a warmness to it, so it's gorgeous for buffing out any smoky looks. Next, I'm going to take a bronzer and just buff underneath the brow. You guys know how I like to blend my shadows. And then to finish that off, I'm just going to use a little bit of a highlighter pen uh, as well. And that liner wasn't dark enough for me, so I just used my e.l.f. gel liner to go ahead and align my waterline. And then I'm going to use that as well all over the lid. It's really going to make the black shadow stick. And this black shadow is by Sephora, I believe, um, a holiday palette I got. And then Carbon by MAC Cosmetics. It's my favorite black eyeshadow ever. Back in for some more blending. And I'm really just going to alternate blending uh, with the transition color and then going back in with the black until then I get the my desired level of darkness. A clean towel will take away any fall away. And then you can smoke out your lash line underneath as well. So of course you guys know my Magic Lumi primer is my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my face to give myself that good glow for today. And I'm really rubbing it in because my highlight is going to be a little bit lighter than normal. For foundation today, I'm using MAC Mineralize Foundation in an NC45, and I'm just going to put that all over my face and then buff it out. You guys know I love to blend. So for my highlight today, I'm going to be using... Um, I'm sorry, Max Pro Longwear Highlighter, I'm sorry, Concealer, and an NC35, and I'm going to buff that out. That's a little bit lighter than I normally use. I usually use a 42. So I just wanted to really give my under eye a brightness because I'm doing such a dark shadow today. So I'm going in with just my... Uh, powder that I normally use all over and I'm gonna contour a little bit with that and buff it out and then next I'm gonna use Max Refined Golden which is my favorite bronzer ever and a big fluffy brush and pretty much put that all over my face here's the blush I used in my transition color for my eyeshadow and I'm gonna pop that in for a contour And then you guys know that I love to highlight, so I'm going to go ahead and go in and do that as well. For lip, I wasn't sure, so I just decided to go ahead and do a nude lip. I'm using my chocolate brown lip liner pencil and then Fashion Whim Cream Sheen Lip Gloss by MAC Cosmetics. And I absolutely love this gloss, and that completes the look for the most part. There we are. And ta-da! Here we are, and here's my finished look. I hope you guys absolutely love it. Stay tuned. I hope to see you at my next video. Have a wonderful day. This what happen when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah.